Hey guys, welcome back. This is another comparison video and today I have here in front of me the Google Pixel XL and the previous generation Nexus 6P. This video is uh, totally important for two kinds of people. The first one who are the already owner of Nexus devices, for example Nexus 5X, 6P or Nexus 6. And the second kind of people who are really wanted to come to the uh, Nexus phones lineup which is a Pixel right now. Maybe they are using Galaxy phones or maybe they are using iPhone. So, Two kinds of people, the current Nexus users and the non-Nexus users. So we will be doing kind of a speed test. We will launch a couple of the apps. We will see the boot up time, shutdown times and how much time does the apps takes and all. So both phones are right now turned off. So I'm just going to power them on together. You can see they're not working. Volume keys are not working. So we'll just start with the power on test here. So powering on the device in three, two, one. So we'll see which device boots are faster and just for the specs wise this is a slightly older version it has snapdragon 810 with 3 gigabytes of ram and this is the latest generation snapdragon 821 with 4 gigabytes of ram so definitely uh, there will be no match in terms of technically if you watch about the speed but you know that depends on what kind of need you have if you really need such a high performance if you're just a casual user who want a nexus branded phone so google branded phone so so kinds of depends on situation guys what kind of users you are so we will think seeing all the things that day-to-day -day uses and heavy games to multitasking too so as you can see the nexus 6p is still booting up and we have this pixel xl booted up so if booting is ready is your high concern so it's not taking much time and just uh, i can say 10 seconds of difference but still you can see uh, both phones are running the latest of the android as you can see going inside so this is the pixel xl running android 7.1 and to be surprised this is 7.1.1 so that's why this is a benefit of using the nexus both has up to a super 5 security patch level so i'm just going to close all and guys just to uh, make for surety like we have no animations drop i'm using the uh, the Nova launcher prime in both the places so this is Nova launcher prime uh, that has been simulated to look like the pixel launcher so if you want to have a such kind of launcher on your phone so i will put the necessary video links go ahead and watch that so these are the set of apps that we will launch so i have four games together three of the social apps and some of the general utility usage app and also we'll be seeing the benchmark test on the n22 and the geek benchmark so let's start with the twitter so launching twitter in three two one so they launched pretty much same time and uh, let's minimize them now we launch the instagram it's launching instagram in three two one as you can see for the day-to-day -day usage uh, general apps are just looking fine nexus 6p is slightly slower not a problem so youtube here three two one it's almost same not a difference now we'll go ahead and take a look on the play store so this is google play store three two one Even though it came later, but it did launch the app first. Uh, the data is loaded first. So this is some third-party file manager. So we'll launch in uh, three, two, one. So this is Asus Genuine file manager. You can see it loads the data faster. So that's happened when you have higher processor on your phone. So this is Google Maps. So we will just uh, launch here and see which one does point my location correctly. So GPS is turned on on both the devices. So Google Maps in three, two, one. You can see Nexus 6P is slightly slow. It does loads data faster. All right, so we'll see how does the camera launches. So launching camera in three, two, one. Clearly, a, a edge, edge is going to the Pixel XL. Now we launch Google Chrome. So Google Chrome in three, two, one. So almost same. So we'll try to load some website and see which one does loads better so we will uh, go to the youtube on the both places same time three two one you can see pixel xl is loading the data faster compared to the 6p both are on the same network same wi-fi reliance geo internet so this is the speed of the reliance geo you can see ahead so we'll just minimize that and let it load so we'll launch uh, the game here. This is Subway Surfer. So let's try that out. So Subway Surfer in three, two, one.
So surprise, almost uh, same time exactly, not a problem. We'll launch Temperland 2. So Temperland 2 in 3, 2, 1. Whoa, that's great. You can see guys, so these things happen. So it depends on internal processing powers which does lose job first. So anyway, so we'll launch Asphalt 8. So in two stages, first we'll see how much time does it takes to get to the first screen. Then on the design, we will see when we finally click on the play button. So Asphalt 8 in 3, 2, 1. So, Pixel XL got the screen first. So, everything is set. We are going to click on the start race. So, starting race in 3, 2, 1. So you can see guys, uh, there is a very slight difference, not a much here, so both phones are performing very well, Nexus 6P still is a great device. So we'll launch our next game, this is Modern Combat 5, so launching game in 3, 2, 1. So you can see the Nexus 6P loads a little faster here, so Pixel XL is a bit slower here, so touching both at the same time. So here they works well so tie up here with the modern combat 5 now guys we will try to resume some game and see how much time does it takes in resuming so just see how much time does it takes to you know to load the load uh, app switcher so you can see this does loads faster so this is happens when you have you know a higher processor higher ram so these things comes to matter there uh, apart of just couple of seconds difference so we'll load our first uh, our first game that we launched so this is twitter let's see whether the data are loaded or not so this is being twitter in three two one so this does keeps data in the memory and nexus 6p doesn't so this is happens when you have uh, more memory compared to the other phones so now time for the instagram three two one you can see nexus 6p does loads data each time i don't know why uh, this things happens so we'll go to next uh, here so YouTube, let's see. So both are loading data, but uh, Pixel XL uh, got the data first. So here we go, our next app. So let's see what's the condition of maps. So maps here in three, two, one. See, it's uh, reloading the data, but here we already on the stage, on the correct place. And now we'll try to uh, load some games here. So we will resume the survey surfer and see. So resuming survey surfer in three, two, one. So game is already in the memory as you can see. We already had tap to play, it's resuming everything completely. So that's a benefit of having more RAM. So now it comes, so uh, I don't know. This thing should not happen. Let's uh, go to the asphalt eight and see where they are. So I'm guessing both should be in the memory, so let's try. Resuming asphalt 8 in 3 to 1. So both are in the memory. So it looks like these are games which have taken a lot of memory. That's why other games are not getting much thing here. So we'll go back here to the modern combat 5. Let's see. So 3, 2, 1. So you can see this does uh, reloading the game. So uh, that's actually not good. On checking the benchmark test results, Google Pixel XL will definitely show a higher score and it will also show the results on the fastest time the reason being due to a higher processor and the higher number of rams that is uh, 4 gigabytes definitely is better than 3 gigabytes but uh, you should not be taking this as a judgment making because the results if you try to run it each time you might get different results and obviously device that is older will have the lower score 
but the day-to-day -day usage will be uh, varying as you can see uh, this course was uh, quite different here but if you try to learn it next time you might get different results the same i tried with n 2 benchmarks too so i'll show the results here too so here's the n 2 benchmark test results so first the uh, nexus 6p was at 5 percent for 5 which was on the android uh, depth view 5 but uh, after you get to there so google pixel excel shows the result much faster and this is the scores here so don't uh, trust on the nexus 6p score because the same i tried to learn again you can see the results are quite different we have seen the speed test here so idly if you ask with me i'm using nexus 6p from almost six to seven months before that i have nexus 6 here already i am using nexus 6 too and this is pixel xl so under no doubt please this pixel xl is great phone i really like it especially the camera and also guys one more point i want to show you guys here you can see so uh, this is where you can see i'm just going to minimize the display you can actually uh, feel which display is better so i do feel that uh, the Pixel XL has a greater display because this is from the Samsung here. This is Super AMOLED display. So this and this is I don't know from the Samsung or not. So just uh, increase the display brightness to say 25%. And here we are at almost 25%. So let's see which one is more brighter. So you can see here. So Pixel XL really uh, has a much sharper and brighter display. So moving to the 50% here. And uh, it is almost 50. Actually I have set the tile on the same location too. So yeah, we are on the track, same point. So here we go. So Pixel XL again brighter. Both are set to adaptive brightness turned on. Now we'll move to the 75 percentage. Here's the 75 percentage. Let's see. You can see Pixel XL much brighter. So overall, the display is better, camera is better, interface is better, and uh, memory is better. Things are better. So if you have such requirement, like you really want greater display, sharper display, go for Pixel XL. If you want a great camera, which is no doubtly is there, so you can watch my video comparison already. I've shown you the camera details for the Pixel XLS2. It shines really great camera, except a few fields, which is obviously with all camera manufacturers are there. And if you really want a higher generation phone, higher processor phone, so Pixel XL is for you. Otherwise, if you just want to feel Nexus device, stock Android OS, so there's only few uh, smaller, smaller difference compared to the Pixel XL and the and write nougat sign on because some things are really exclusive to hardware which is there the pixel xl so uh, this is it for guys this in here so only last thing is left we're just going to power up the device together so we'll see uh, which device turns off faster actually we should check that thing too so here we go power button scheme so three two one so almost same but the nexus 6p wins here so I've shown you guys all the best possible ways, all the apps you have. In case you want any specific apps comparisons, do, do let me know or comment me. I'll try to make another video. And stay tuned, I'm just going to compare the Pixel XL with the OnePlus 3.2, which has Snapdragon 820 with 6GB six, six of RAM. So definitely, it will be fun here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Sarah. Don't forget to subscribe to watch new videos like that. I'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching.